Hi everyone, I'm just going to make a video to show off my latest little crafty creation. I made a poseable dragon doll armature thing. <laughs> um, I found a bunch of tutorials online on how to do this. Most of them involved feathers. But uh, I've been wanting to do something like this for a long time and I decided to just jump into it. Um, so this is based off a character that I have. His name is Paladin, but this isn't Paladin because it doesn't have the colors. And I wasn't brave enough to paint or to try to piece together felt and glue it in the right spots to make his, you know, markings and stuff. So I just went with all black and basically I'm just... My cop-out is, uh, it's the same species as Paladin, but it's not Paladin. <laughs> um, so he has a very, very unique wing shape, and uh, it's based off the wing shape from the dragons in Reign of Fire. Um, this is essentially how their wings are. Um, they're very, uh, very, very big. He has a very big wingspan, and I wanted it to be as large and as accurate as possible. Um, he is not perfect. <laughs> I have many, many mistakes and you can see the major imperfections. There's exposed wire, uh, the felt covering it up is just like patched together. It's not a great job. I was just trying to get it done essentially. Um, yeah, you can see the hot glue and my botched sewing job and the hot glue <laughs> sticking out. Yeah, all of the imperfections are there. But um, other than that, he is pretty functional. I can get him to pose in a lot of ways. He doesn't stand up quite well, but if I pose him the way he would stand, like anatomically, how he would be walking or talking, or walking, not talking, <laughs> something like that. He'd be walking around. It holds himself up. His tail is also fully bendable. Um, I should have reinforced it with a little more wire. It's a little too bendable and I'm worried that it'll break inside. But um, yeah, even this part has got wire in it. So I can bend his tail that way. And even the wings itself, um, there's wire inside the, uh, the tines that I can bend. I basically wanted any part of this dragon that could move, I wanted it to move as much as possible. So even this one down here can bend. His feet, not as much bendy shape, but I can get it to pull back like here and, you know, like that kind of stuff. I can, you know. So those are bendable and yeah, here's a close up of his face. I am not a master sculptor. <laughs> Uh, I couldn't even get the face to totally line up like I wanted, but there he is, his little snaggle tooth. He's been very, very fun to play with, and he makes an excellent reference. Um, even though he's not perfect, I can bend him into any position I want, and he'd be a perfect reference for me to draw, even if it's not, you know, even if the wing shape is a little different. Um, yeah, he's really fun. Um, I will say that I am not taking commissions on these. This was the first prototype and probably the only one. Although I am going to make a Toothless. I have to, just on principle. Because How to Train Your Dragon is just way too amazing. So I think the next big one will be, um, yeah, How to Train Your Dragon. Gotta do Toothless. Uh, but, um, this was just a, a fun experiment for me. Uh, hey, there, he's standing. <laughs> Um, a fun experiment, um, fun practice to do something totally different outside of my digital art. Um, I haven't done anything like this in, or any, um, you know, uh, traditional stuff for a really, really long time. So this was fun. Yeah. Anyways, um, I don't, ugh, sorry. I don't know what other practical uh, use he has other than just being fun to play with and used for art references. But um, I'm really happy I did this. He's a cool dragon and uh, he needs a name. 
He's not paladin, so he's something else. Same species as paladin. Um, maybe one day, if I'm brave enough, I can add cool markings or something to him. To give him new life. But yeah, there's my dragon. Bye.